how to calculate your one rep max using this equation. What's going on guys, my name is Coach Malik with MBP Training, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over how you can estimate your one rep max based off of the weight you are doing right now with reps. So this equation, which is the Epley's one rep max equation, there are many different types of one rep max equations. This one, I like the best and have, in my experience, noticed a little bit more accuracy over all the lifts. Certain lifts, like deadlift, might have a certain equation that works best for that. Squat might have a certain equation that works best for that. Bench might have a certain equation that even works best for that. This Epley one, I feel like works on average on all of them the most accurately. Again, it's an estimate, it's not an exact number, so always make sure that you are keeping that in mind. So number one is the equation, which we're gonna go over. One plus parenthesis 0 0.0333 times reps times the weight that you did those reps for. So example, let's say I did squat, right? 200 pounds for five reps. So then the 200 would go here and the five reps would go here. So I'll go, I was again, in math, you like to do parentheses first. So five times 0 0.0333 plus one. I think that's 1.165, I do this number all the time. 0 0.0333 times five plus one. So 1.1665, and then I'm gonna times that by 200 because that's the weight that I did my exercise, my workout with. So that's 233. So if I am performing a squat for 200 pounds and I complete five reps, my one rep max based off this equation is estimated at about 233. One more example, if you're on the bench press and let's say you're hitting 135, let's say you hit 135 for eight times, you'll go back to the calculations, start with the parentheses, you did eight reps, times that by 0 .0333, and then you're gonna add one, and we get 1.2664, and then we're gonna times that by 135, because that's the weight that we performed the set with. And that's 170.964. So using this equation, again, you're gonna be able to know kind of estimated where your one rep max is, which is gonna help a lot with your lifts, how much you should be lifting, and how much you should push yourself to lift during your workouts. So I hope this helped. If it did, put down in the comments down below. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend who is looking to calculate their one rep max. And remember, be certain in yourself, be certain in your skills, and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. See you next video.